Karl Halber, May 30, 1885 to October 15, 1949, was an American tennis player and banker. He was also a survivor of the sinking of RMS Titanic. Karl Howell Bear was born the son of Herman and Grace, Ney Howell, Bear of New York City. He was the brother of Max H. Bear, the famous golfer. Bear was educated at Lawrenceville School and attended Yale University and was admitted to the Bar Association in 1910. While at Yale he also played on the ice hockey team for three years. Bear married Helen Monopini Newsom on March 1, 1913 at the Church of the Transfiguration in New York City. The couple had four children together, Carl H. Bear Jr., 1914-2002, Peter Howell Bear, 1915-1997, James Howell Bear, 1920-1976, and Sally Howell Bear, later Mrs. Samuel Leonard Pettit, 1928-1995. After her husband's death, Helen remarried one of his best friends and former tennis partners, Dean Mathy. Bear gave up a career in law, instead turning to banking. He was vice president of Dillon, Reed and Company and sat on the board of the Fisk Rubber Company, the Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company, and the National Cash Register Company. At the time of his death, he was a director of the Interchemical Corporation, the Bear Manning Corporation of Troy, New York, and the Witherby Sherman Corporation. His clubs included the Downtown, University and Yale, and the St. Nicholas Society. Bear was also a well-known lawn tennis player, playing on the United States Davis Cup team in 1907. Bear, with Bills Wright, was also runner-up in the men's doubles at the 1907 Wimbledon Championships, losing to Norman Brooks and Tony Wilding in three sets, 4-6, 4-6, 2-6. He reached the number three US ranking in both 1907 and 1914. Bear continued his tennis career after the sinking of Titanic, and was named to the 1914 U.S. Davis Cup team along with fellow survivor R. Norris Williams. However, Bear, who played on the 1907 U.S. Davis Cup, did not play in the 1914 Davis Cup Challenge round against Australasia at Forest Hills. In 1915 he defeated Maurice McLaughlin, the world's number one ranked player at the time, in straight sets, 8-6, 7-5, 7-5 to, to win the tournament in Seabright, New Jersey. In 1912, Bear booked first-class passage on board RMS Titanic. His main reason for traveling was due to his pursuit of fellow first-class passenger Helen Newsom, who was a friend of Bear's sister. Bear occupied cabin C-148 during the voyage. Sometime after the ship hit the iceberg, Bear met up with Helen, her mother and stepfather, Richard and Sally Beckwith and another couple, Edwin and Gertrude Kimball, on the boat deck. Under the watch of 3rd officer Herbert Pittman, the group gathered around lifeboat 5. Gertrude Kimball asked J. Bruce Ismay if all of their group could enter the boat. Ismay replied, of course, madam, every one of you. As a result, Bear and his friends were rescued in lifeboat 5, the second boat to leave the ship. After the rescue, several newspapers reported that Bear had proposed to Miss Newsom in the lifeboat. While aboard the rescue ship, RMS Carpathia, Bear and several other passengers, including Molly Brown, organized and formed a committee to honor the bravery of Carpathia's captain, Arthur Rostron, and the ship's crew. They later presented an inscribed silver cup to Rostron, and medals to each of the ship's 320 crew. Carl Bear died of cancer at his home on 15 October 1949, aged 64. He was buried at the Evergreen Cemetery in Morristown, New Jersey. He was posthumously honored by the International Tennis Hall of Fame in 1969. Thank you for listening, and if you would like to hear more biographies, please leave a comment below and perhaps give a thumbs up and subscribe to help my channel. Thank you again for listening.